guilty and ordered 32 weeks in prison for Mrs Sanders. A group of campaigners fighting government plans to criminalise squatting in residential properties held a series of mock trials in their former East London Magistrates Court today. Activists said the event, that was broadcast live across the internet, provided an opportunity to have their voice heard after being largely shunned by the media. Catherine Brogan, a poet who has squatted for the past two years, said the government's consultation of the bill has been a sham, and should it pass, it will be the vulnerable who suffer most. It was introduced in uh, May, and actually what they say is you shouldn't have consultations over the summer months. That was the first problem. The consultation finished on the 5th of October, which meant that there was very little time in order to get agencies and governments and, and people to be able to respond to the consultation. However, we tried very, very hard to raise awareness of it. We managed to get over 2,000 responses. 96% of respondents said don't change the law. The current law is enough to protect homeowners, including people like the Law Society and the police said don't change the law. The government on the, um, the, the it was supposed to be released in mid-October, the, the results were supposed to be released in mid-October. What happened was the first we heard was that the government had announced that they were going to ban squatting in residential properties as an amendment to the Legal Aid and Sentencing Act and we were told that on the Wednesday and it was going to be voted on on the Monday so there was four working days notice. That evening they re released the results of the consultation. So they said they were going to bring this law in even before they published the actual findings of their own consultation. So it just proves that they're not, and what they also said was they were discounting these respondents because squash had elicited them which quite frankly is ridiculous you know if it's something to do with whether cat owners should have to have a license then cats protection is going to activate their membership if it's something to do with squatting the organization which is representing squatters should activate their membership it's it's a normal part of lobbying a normal part of our democratic process and what we have seen is that the government have actually subverted the democratic process this law has not gone through committee stage, it has barely been debated in the House of Commons and it's been forced through with a three line win. The, the big issue is that there's people squat for all sorts of reasons. Um, some people may be able to you know, pay rent and have £50 a month left over and they might do that. But other more vulnerable people will still have to squat. And I think the issue is that we will get a lot of people who maybe have less mental health problems, who maybe are more capable of um, sorting out court papers, so dealing with the police, dealing with the um, neighbors, fixing the place up, getting materials, getting people to help. I am worried that those people will exit squatting and we will be left with extremely vulnerable people only in squats. Jakarta Linux, who has been squatting for the past 20 years, said the consultation should have been carried out independently while criticising the government in its failure to provide enough housing. An issue, he said, that was being compounded by immigration. The only people valid, uh, and legally in my view, entitled to do an investigation is a dispassionate academic exercise where all the facts, as many of the facts as possible, can be established. And, OK, they will include where there is malicious... Uh, seizure of property by people who I would argue are not in the squatting movement, they're there to cause disruption, um, but <clears throat> would reveal the truth about the government's appalling policies on home, home provision and its other policies, uh, uncontrolled immigration. It's not a racist issue, that is a complete and utter sham. We're all, if we are all one race, we are the human race. It is an ethnic issue and it is an issue to do with number. That is the only thing. No land can import large numbers of people when it can't even manage its own indigenous population properly. Despite the government's plans to force the bill through Parliament, Catherine Brogan said it's still not too late to act. It's not over. There's still a lot more you can do. Uh, please write to um, people in the House of Lords. Uh, you can also uh, ca you can go on the, the Squash Campaign website and there's a whole pack about how you can campaign. It's squashcampaign.org. <laughs> and write to your MP, talk to your friends. Um, if you can get any good media, be your own media. Forget the mainstream media. Do what you're doing right now and be your own media because 
the media is always going to be there to protect the property owning classes, to make the rich richer and the poor poorer. That's what their vested interest is. Um, that's what their, their constituency is. So be your own media, spread the word, um, let people know what's happening and fight it.